thank you, Silvio, for the beginning one official good afternoon to all the participants. And uh, I would like to thank to, to the mayor of uh, Caracal for a very good organization of this event. And what we did during the, the two meetings uh, from Cladovo to Caracal, Silvio explained already that uh, we established a website. We uh, find a, a new members of our Russia in initiatives and uh, we try to find the source of funding for the projects. Uh, we will have possibility to, to present you uh, two our project idea. Uh, I will present the first one. It's for the Danube Transnational Program. It is a uh, one huge project and my colleagues uh, Dragan and me will present one uh, small project but uh, very interesting to find <coughs> the quick source of funding for a joint uh, cooperation here. And we will start with the presentation. If it's possible, a uh, project idea for the transnational tenure uh, program. The name is uh, from cross border to transnational cooperation in tourism. Or another name is uh, transferring cross border to transnational cooperation in tourism. It's uh, priority 6C. Uh, we found there's uh, uh, more. That 6C is a uh, uh, very good uh, priority. It's conserving, protecting, promoting, and developing natural and cultural heritage. It doesn't work, never mind. Uh, what is the needs and challenge of this uh, project idea? Uh, we found that uh, we have uh, many existing cross-border co cooperation structures in the Europe, like the ROSIP is a cross-border cooperation structure. For example, some uh, European groupings of territorial cooperation, some Euro uh, regions or some similar structure. And the idea is to find, to recognize, uh, to join with our ROSIP initiatives to uh, find solution for a joint cooperation. The uh, idea is to establish this cooperation because uh, between existing cross-border cooperation structures in the Europe dealing with tourism, of course, and in the, in the area of the project, that's mean in the area of the Danube. Uh, we will have two results in our project idea. The first one is to set up a network of this cross-border cooperation, and the second one will be to improve the framework, the capacities, and the solution for the develop development of sustainable tourism here in the Danube region. Uh, uh, as I said, the uh, idea is to establish cooperation between some existing cross-border structures or initiatives. The first one we have to recognize, and after that to establish cooperation. And uh, at the end, uh, we would like to have some three to six cross-border in in initiatives as a partnership here with the ROSEP and they will cover seven to eight uh, countries in the Danube region. And the uh, idea is to have cooperation between uh, the, some regions, not between individual organizations like uh, Arot, RICE or something like this. And uh, finally, we hope that the Danube program could find such approach that it would be interesting and very innovative to to give us the, uh, the source of funding. Uh, the initiatives uh, will have some activities like establish platform for exchanging experience to improve framework and develop a joint and integrated solution for the development of the joint tourism product and to introducing new joint sustainable tourist activities in these uh, cross-border cooperation structures which we will be recognized. The, the next slide, uh, our project will have three pillars. <coughs> One of the activity will be to uh, focus on the building of this cooperation structure, to have cooperation with some of them. Uh, the second pillar will be interesting to, to deal with natural and cultural heritage and resources in the Danube region. Uh, at the moment, uh, we don't have some concrete idea for this activities and uh, the third pillar will be the package that could be focused on a pilot project that could be developed through our project. Uh, for example, one of the focus will be to the gastronomy along the Danube. 
we will uh, find the, the best practice and try to cooperate with them. The another one is to link mountainous areas near to the Danube, more with activities on the Danube. The third one will be uh, fortress along the Danube or traditional festivals and events. Uh, we are very rich on the whole Danube region in every country with, with the many festivals, uh, the small one, the huge, the middle, and the idea is to connect all these festivals and to have joint, joint uh, transnational projects uh, related to the festivals. Another one is to focus on sustainable travel by boat, of course, on the Danube uh, to see which necessary infrastructure we have, what will be the common methodology, and uh, uh, two other possibilities is uh, very popular here. In the Europe is hiking and biking. We have biking along the Danube uh, and Eurovelo 6, the biking road, but it's always possible to develop when to have cooperation with another one. Another slide. Uh, we request for the we requested for the partners. Uh, we need ERDF partners for ERDF uh, countries. This means relevant existing cross-border cooperation structure, which already exists. Uh, at the moment, we didn't find a similar, but uh, I'm sure that we will find. We are requested for the <coughs> university of some research institutions and the regional authorities. Uh, as we said, we are looking for potential partners. Uh, at the moment, uh, we have some partners from Montenegro, this municipality of Tivat, and some other structure with following this municipality. We had a contact uh, with Slovenia and the municipality of Novo Mesto, and they promised to us that they will join to the project and uh, uh, they will find another partner from Croatia, I think also regional development agency from Croatia and we have contact uh, for some Slovakian, Slovakian uh, development agency and Hungary, of course. Uh, another step which we done is we published our project idea on the Danube program website, which is very important. It, it is uh, uh, first step to find a partnership and uh, we are looking for a strong load, uh, lead partner for the project. And if you have any idea and uh, you may propose, the, it will be very welcome. Uh, when we establish a partnership, uh, we can discuss on more specific issues what will be in our project uh, proposals. This is very brief, I suppose. Uh, if you have any comments, any question, uh, we are ready to answer. And uh, the contact for the project preparation will be Price. Uh, you see my email and my phone number. It's possible to to send me a mail or our idea related to the some project ideas. Uh, now I I will call my colleagues Dragan to come here. Uh, presentation. Just uh, sper să, să nu deranjez, dar eu cred că ar fi bine dacă ar traduce totuși cineva și în românește, pentru că avem invitații din, din regiunea noastră, oamenii au venit cu un interes și atunci, măcar pe scurt, măcar pe scurt să, să prezentăm ideile și limba română. Eu zic că n-ar deranja pe nimeni. Mă scuzați. Okay, o să fac un scurt rezumat a prezentării acestui proiect. I will make I will summarize in Romanian for some people that came here and it's better for them to make a summarize in, in Romanian. Este vorba de un proiect ce va fi, noi încercăm să-l depunem, îl vom depune în cadrul programului Interreg, Danube. În acest moment am definit linii mari care sunt pachetele de lucru exact pe care, care vor, vor continua acest proiect. În același timp suntem și în căutarea de parteneri, pentru că este nevoie de parteneri din Uniunea Europeană, Serbia nu este Uniunea Europeană, dar este nevoie de parteneri din... Noi ne dorim parteneri din toate țările Dunărene. În acest moment suntem la etapa de a găsi partenerii cei mai potriviți pentru acest proiect care ne-l dorim și de asemenea de a găsi un partener lider 
care să aibă experiența și, să zicem, puterea de a ne reprezenta interesele noastre către finanțator și care să ne reprezinte interesele în cadrul acestui proiect. Pentru orice informații și detalii ne puteți pute scrie lui Zoran, fie nou și cu orice idee de partener care se dorește a se alătura acestui proiect sau cu orice idee referitoare la acest proiect. Acest pro o să-l punem și pe website-ul, o să punem această propunere de proiect în limba engleză și dacă eventual trebuie să încercăm să o și traducem în, în limba română și de asemenea o veți găsi tot pe website.